Okay, so this is basically how I myself use two maple stories. So as you might notice, I'm using a Mac. So I can't open Maple Story directly. So what I use is basically a virtual machine. So I use Parallels virtual machines. See here I have one and two, so both Maples. I can turn on both and turn on Maple for both. And you know, but for Windows, there is the option, you know, you just go to Google and type in virtual machines for Windows 7 or you know whatever it is you want to use. But before I was using a Mac, I used to use VirtualBox. So, you know, you can go ahead and download that. It's here, www.virtualbox.org. You know, downloads. So, once you download the VirtualBox itself, you know, I'll probably open a new one. But it's basically the same thing. Lah. Okay, so once you've installed it, so for example, like mine, I've already installed Parallels. So, you can have this button that says like you know a plus where you can add a new virtual machine or whatever it is lah that you want to do you want to install it from another OS a DVD blah 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 you want to download you know it's 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 basically like that so once you've installed you know Windows so like mine see I have Windows XP here and then Windows XP 2 here let me just open both of them so you can see so once you've installed this um, the problem with Maple Story is it doesn't let you use it with a virtual machine. So there you go, boom. It'll say, sorry, this application cannot run under a virtual machine. So yeah. So how to bypass this is once you press OK, you're going to go to Start, Run, uh, type in Regedit, R-E-G-E-I-D-T. OK, OK. And then you wanna, you're going to have to navigate to... So it'll open up like this. So what you're gonna navigate to is HK Local Machine, press a plus, hardware, plus again, description, plus, and then okay. system. So just click on the system folder. If you plus hit, you know, there's nothing else there that you're gonna uh, mess around with. It's basically in system. So under video BIOS version, you're gonna double click that and change it to whatever you want. Change it to whatever. Yeah, it works. Okay, so once that's done, okay, and then you press the X button, and then you run Maple Story. So the problem is because you know this is a virtual machine, and Maple Story itself can detect that this is a virtual machine. Every time you turn it on, you're gonna have to redo that. So for example, like you know with this one, I just turned it on as well. So I'm gonna have to go to Start, Run, Regedit, it. You know, uh, HK Local Machine, Hardware, Description System, Video BIOS. You know, change it. So I'm gonna use no box or whatever. Okay, and I'll use this. Okay. There you go. So X. So then you're gonna navigate to the place where Maple. Yeah. So I'm just gonna run Maple Story and let it wait. So because I'm recording while running Maple Story, it might take a while for it to load. So I'll come back once both Maple Stories have loaded. Okay, so we're back. Now that both the Maple Stories have loaded, so as you can see here, boom, two Maple Stories on one computer. So I'm just gonna log in now. Uh, yeah. I wonder if you're online. I'll just use the typical channel. So I'm just gonna log in, log in one sec. So just to prove that it actually works. Oh, that one's loud. Um, yeah. Nope, I cannot use that one. So it might be a little laggy at first. Now, as you can see, I have the uh, graphics set to very, very low. You know. Uh, but yeah, you know, it works. So that's all that matters. Someone. 
Oh, there you are. Slow, but you know it's it's tolerable. So there you go. So second make all. Anyways, yeah. So that's about it. You know, two maple stories uh, on one computer. I'm still recording. Um, set. Okay. All right. See ya. Bye.